<laughs> Welcome to another video by ClickAlgo. Um, today we're going to demonstrate the CTrader Fibonacci extension tool. This is the brother of the uh, retracement tool. It's a much overlooked tool that's not used so much. Um, and, but we're going to show you how to use it with the CTrader platform, okay? So what I'll do is I'll go straight to CTrader. <clears throat> and on here on the chart, you can see there's a euro dollar on the one hour, and there's a, bullet, a bearish trend coming all the way down here to the bottom here, okay? So if, for example, your price was um, here, you like, say you wanted to actually find out how much further it goes down before it hits a strong support level, you'd identify your highest high, which is where I've put the A up there. You identify your lowest low, where I've put the B. So you're just gonna identify the A leg to the B leg. The next retracement up to C, okay? These are your three points you wanna to use to draw the tool. Now in this example, we're using historical data, but if you can imagine that there's no data from say this point here onwards, so you don't have all of this data here. We're just assuming that we're trying to work out where the strong support and resistance levels are, okay? So if I draw the tool onto the chart, I just go to the right, I pick the tool out of here. You've got the Fibonacci retracement, Fibonacci fan, and the Fibonacci expansion, which is the Fibonacci extension tool. If I click on it, I've got the little icon now where the cursor is. I click on the highest high there, and it snaps to the highest point. I bring it to the lowest low point, it snaps, and I bring it up to the next retracement, okay? Now what we've got now is pre-calculated ratios of um, potential areas where the retracement's gonna occur. Now one number there, one ratio there we've got, if I bring this down, which is the 61.8%. Now this is a very magical number in Fibonacci and it's an, an occurrence that happens all around us in the universe and it's used with trading and it gives a pretty accurate um, value for when the price reverses. And if you have a look, you can actually see that um, if you were to draw this tool and if you were to actually try and work out where strong support would be, the 61.8 would be a good value. Now here at the 100%, it's a bit off, it's a bit lower than the, um, where it's actually retraced down there, it's a bit different, okay? So what I'm trying to show you here is one method of actually using the Fibonacci extension tool. There is another method, I'm gonna show you that as well. But before I do that, I'm gonna go back to um, our knowledge page here, which tells you more about it. So if you come to our website, clickalgo.com, if you go under education and just go under trading academy, it will actually take you to the page where you can find out more about it, okay? So I'll just go on, want to show you about the golden ratio, which is the 61.8%. Um, if I just click on this link, it actually takes you to a page and I'll actually explain why the 61.8% is a very important number and how it's used and how it's been used for you know a very long time um, and how it's applied to uh, trading on the markets. Okay, it's a very interesting read. So I advise you if you don't, if you're not familiar with it, to go and have a look at that. You can see it's got on here as well, a strong support golden ratio, 61.8%. Okay, that's one way of doing it. And what I'm going to show you now is a second way of doing it, method two, okay? So um, some traders will do it this way and then some traders will do it a different way. I'm going to delete this. And what I'm going to do now is bring the tool back up and I'm going to go from the highest high to the lowest low, back up to the highest high, okay? Now, once you've done that, um, you need to change the values, your, your percentage values. So you need to right click on the screen and you need to edit those. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring this back up. So there are key values you wanna use for alternative ratios. These are 123.6, 138.2, 150, 161.8 and 261.8. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna actually uh, use those values on this chart to see where the strong and support resistance lines are. So I would experiment with both methods and try and find a method that suits you best, okay? So if I click on, on there, sorry, is my uh, telegram going crazy? I'm just gonna turn it off. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually um, add those levels in. So it's 123.6, okay, that's one. It's 138.2, uh, it's 150, and 168.2. I think 161.8, and last but not least, 261.8. Now, I'm gonna uncheck these two, so they're not showing, and just show these. Now, if you want to change the color of it, you just click on there, you can change it to any color you want, okay? Um, okay, so I'm gonna okay that. Now, these are the new values that have come up on the chart. Now, if you have a look, the 138.2% is quite an important um, level, okay, on here. So, this brings you to about the, and the 123.6 also shows you strong support and resistance. So it's slightly different from the other one. But again, if you have a look at the um, 161.8, that's quite accurate for the um, bounce there. So the strong support there that showed you where the price reversed up, there was a big reversal. So these are two ways of using the tool. 
Um, this is just a bullish trend. So I'll just quickly show you before I finish how to use it on a bearish trend. Sorry, this is for a bearish trend. Sorry, it's going down. I'm going to show you how to use the tool for a bullish trend. Before I do, I'm going back over to here to this page here about the Fibonacci extension tool. I advise you to uh, go to this page and learn more about Fibonacci numbers. OK, so on here. It tells you all about who Fibonacci is, what the golden ratio is. And there's a very interesting video uh, about mathematics by Arthur Benjamin. So have a read of that. He tells you all about Fibonacci numbers and how it's used around us. And this page gives you just more information. OK, so I'll go back to C Trader now. And what I'm going to do is uh, delete this off the chart. So I'm going to go to where the price is occurring. Then there's no real trend going on there. Um, not really. So I'm just going to try and do a, find another one. And open it up. Let's go and south. Going back to euro dollar again. Okay, so if you were going to do bullish, you do it the other way around. So you go to the expansion tool, and you go from the bottom up this time. So on bearish, you went from the highest high to the lowest low. But on bullish, you go from the lowest low to the highest high. So I'm just going to bring it up from there to there. Then I'm going to bring it all the way back down to there. Okay. So here it's saying that there would be possible um, strong resistance levels on the 123. Uh, 138 and all the others so if i minimize this you can see now the structure on the left okay so at the moment it's telling you there's strong resistance on these levels so if i put a horizontal line up and put another one these levels are showing you where you potentially want to take your put your take profits or stop losses OK, so they're pretty good levels. That's showing you the structure going across there. You can see that's quite a strong one at the top, 161.8%. OK, so it's very useful to use. Um, I would definitely start using it if you can. Uh, use it in conjunction with one of our other products, which is the um, harmonic scanner. I'm just going to quickly show you that if I can. Um, if you click on there to find out more about harmonic uh, pattern trading, uh, this page will tell you more about it. Um, we're also, we've also got a scanner that we're selling. It's a harmonic pattern scanner that helps you um, identify trend reversals. So here it's got the A, B, and C. Um, it shows the whole lot, and you can use this tool in conjunction with this and uh, support and resistance levels to help you work out um, your trading. Now, before I go, I just want to quickly show you, you can click on there and go to Trading Academy. And we've got a knowledge base and we're slowly filling it with useful information to help traders um, trade using uh, advanced tr uh, charting tools. OK, OK, that's the video. Um, if you really like the video, please give me a thumbs up. It massively helps us so that we can produce more videos for you free of charge so you can um, be more of a consistent trader. Thank you very much.